Hey you little cuties, Demi Bobemi here and welcome to another coffee date vlog tea edition. Today I thought it would be kind of fun to do something a little different I guess rather than talking about like thoughts or opinions or events or experiences or anything that maybe I could just do like a get to know me question thing. Nobody asked me these questions. Nobody wanted this specifically. I just thought it would be fun. I also thought maybe it would be kind of fun if you guys reciprocated as well. And I'll put all the questions that I'm answering in the description below. So maybe if you feel comfortable, you can answer some of these questions and then we can just mutually get to know each other because I think that's fun. Also, okay, let me go off on a thing here. I feel like there's a weird connection with YouTube where, and I've experienced this as well, where whoever is sitting at home viewing the video feels like they're getting to know someone and you kind of feel, I don't want to say intimate because it's not quite intimate, but you feel like you have like almost a relationship with someone, especially when they're like responding to comments, but then it's like kind of one-sided where like I'm talking to a camera and I don't get the feedback I guess like immediately um, and it's just kind of me like talking about like things about me but I thought it'd be kind of fun if I answered some questions and then maybe you answered the same or similar questions and then we can just like get to know each other and then that's a thing. Just thought it'd be a little bit more mutual than me just talking to a camera and then you watching and saying cool. <laughs> Anyway, let's get started. I've got my phone here with my questions, so let's go. First question, where did you grow up? If you don't know, I'll tell you. I do mention it quite a bit, but I'm from Oregon. I just tell people I'm from Portland because it's easier and most people know Portland. Where do I currently live? In North Dakota. How tall are you? I am a whopping five foot one and three quarter inches tall. So I remember when we were in Tokyo, we as in me and dad, my husband, we did some little like quick live streams on his channel. And I remember like as we're walking, cause he's like almost a foot taller than I am as we were walking and like recording and talking, there were people commenting being like, I didn't realize how short Demi was or how tall Dead was and it's kind of both. He's a little over the average height and I'm a little under the average height so fun fact. Dogs or cats? Obviously dogs. Um, I have two dogs. I have two huskies. I'll picture them here. They're super cute. Probably there's multiple pictures I'm showing you because they're so cute, I can't just show you one. Are you in or have you gone to college? So, I'm not in college, but I have attended college. In high school, I did like a dual enrollment with my high school and the community college. And I attended some college classes while I was in high school. And then after I left high school, I attended an art college for a little over a year. What is your favorite drink? As you can imagine, since I have a whole series on my channel called Coffee Date Vlogs, coffee is one of my favorite beverages. It kind of depends on the mood I'm in. I kind of feel like, so it kind of depends on how I feel. A lot of times I know, don't at me, but I like flavored sparkling water, uh, such as LaCroix, bubbly. I do really appreciate hot beverages such as tea or coffee or hot chocolate or cider or anything like that. Ooh, getting real deep. I love how it's like, ooh, these cute little fun things. And then what are your life goals? <laughs> I know a lot of people are like, ooh, I want to work from home. And it's not that I want to work from home because eventually, okay, so I want to be a fashion designer. I want to create and design my jewelry and my clothing and I want to sell it. Whether that means I'm working from home or I have like a sh like a physical brick and mortar shop or I have like a separate studio or whatever, that's what I want to do. 
So my life goal is to make my Etsy or whatever that turns into my full-time job. You know what I'm saying? What sports do you play or have you played? So I'm gonna count this as a sport. I did cheerleading in high school. Um, I actually did a lot of like cheerleading clinics and stuff like that when I was younger. And that was, I had so much fun doing that. And unsurprisingly, I was a cheerleader in high school. For three years, I did cheer in high school. One year I was junior varsity and two years I was varsity. I have a letter. Um, it's like a whole thing. I have like awards and shit from like cheerleading. So I never competed and that was like, that's a whole story by itself. Um, so because I guess I wasn't competitive, maybe you could argue that it's not a sport, but I'm considering it a sport because I'm pretty sure I almost broke my back once. So have any books you read changed your life? So, no. <laughs> However, that doesn't mean that there weren't a lot of books that I've read that were very deeply meaningful. I don't know if I would go so far as to say like, they changed my life per se, but I absolutely loved To Kill a Mockingbird. And that was a book I read like way before it was ever required as homework for me to read. And I loved it. Um, actually, my mom used to read it to me like before I would go to bed. Another book I read that was actually homework was Night by E. Lee Wiesel. And it's a nonfiction written by a Jewish concentration camp survivor. And it's one of the most heartbreaking tales I think I've ever read. Also a book that I really love is called Go Ask Alice by Anonymous and that's also a nonfiction. It's a diary from a girl who grew up in the late 60s I think is the time period. Early 60s? I don't know. It's in the 60s when like drug culture and like the hippie subculture was like a whole thing. Um, it's a pretty quick read. It's like maybe a hundred pages, 150 pages maybe. Um, so it's a quick read and it's also like diary entries which is really easy to read. But it's about a girl who goes through drug culture and her trying to get out of it and kind of like that whole thing. Um, so just read it if you're interested but those are some books that have kind of always just stuck with me. What is your favorite movie? So I don't have like a favorite movie, but there's like a handful of movies that I'm like always in the mood to watch. So I'm almost always in the mood to watch Moulin Rouge, um, The Great Gatsby, like the new one with Leonardo DiCaprio. Um, honestly, any Disney movie, I'm pretty much always in the mood to watch uh, Across the Universe. Since I've read and I've like experienced Harry Potter, I'm like always really wanting to watch the Harry Potter movies now. Who are your favorite YouTubers? So, right now, my favorite YouTubers to watch are Harmony Nice. She does uh, lifestyle videos, some kind of like fashion stuff, and also she talks about like witchcraft and Wicca. But she's really cute. I like to watch her a lot. Also, the Sorry Girls, they do like DIYs. Uh, Mr. Kate, she does like interior design and DIYs also. Also, I watch a lot of Sims videos because I'm like obsessed with The Sims. I don't too much watch like a lot of Let's Plays, but I like building videos. So anyone that does building videos, I've recently been watching a lot of a YouTuber called Miss Griffey and she does all these like really cute tiny homes and I really love them. So. <sighs> That's who I'm kind of obsessed with at the moment. Do you speak any languages and how well? Okay. In high school, I took four years of German. Um, I think I was to the point where I was almost considered fluent in German, but it's been so long since I've been like speaking German that I'm not super confident in my speaking abilities. I think I could definitely go to Germany and get around. 
I don't know how the Germans are with like Americans and like not speaking their language so I don't know if that's like maybe I couldn't get around I don't know but I speak German well enough I think I've been trying to practice with like Duolingo so that's a thing <laughs> and as you may know I w lived in Japan so I kind of speak a little Japanese way way less than German by far but enough to get around again <laughs> In Japan, it's so easy to get away with like not speaking Japanese, um, especially with like the advent of smartphones. Literally, I just Google translated everything and there's a really cool feature on Google Translate. Fun fact, if you didn't know, you can take a picture with Google Translate and like highlight parts of the text and it will tell you what it says. So that's really cool. So it was really easy to get around, especially like a lot of signs are in English. Um, a lot of people speak English. So it was easy to get away with it. I've also started practicing French a little bit. And of course that's like the lowest amount. It's like, I don't even remember. It was a while since I like started learning French, but that's also a language that I'm planning on learning. So a lot of Duolingo. <laughs> How would you describe your fashion sense? So, the older I get, the more leggings I buy. <laughs> um, and I definitely still believe in pants as leggings are like a no-go. Wait, leggings as pants, that's what I meant. Like, your shirt should be tunic length or longer or your top should be tunic length or longer. And that's just my opinion. You can do whatever you want. But there's something that like extra bugs me when people's butts are just like hanging out. So my fashion sense has gotten a lot more comfortable. I still find jeans very comfortable as well. I wear like high weight, like really high waisted to my natural waist uh, height jeans. And I find that to be the most comfortable. Um, I wear a lot of black. I tend to like edgier clothing depending on my mood a lot of these like ooh, what's your favorite or like what do you usually do and it really just like depends on my mood like sometimes i want to wear dresses and skirts and that's what i wear and sometimes like i want to like dress up and sometimes i just wear like a cardigan and a black shirt and jeans and then i'm just like comfy cozy so like it depends i tend to air on the more like edgy side I prefer like leather jackets and studs and you know black <laughs> how many siblings do you have two sisters what is your go-to fast food order this is something that doesn't depend on my mood I almost always get the same thing and it's usually usually a double cheeseburger with everything on it and that's pretty much it do you use pc or mac pc all the way do you have any bad habits i could write you a laundry list of bad habits i would say the worst habit i have is procrastination i don't know i kind of like do this thing where like I'm scared to start something because I'm nervous that that product isn't going to turn. Like I'm scared of like failing, I guess. So then I just like don't even start something or I'll procrastinate till the last second. Um, <laughs> so that's a big bad habit I have. What is your favorite Netflix show? So that's a little difficult because I often, as probably a lot of people know, I rewatch Gossip Girl probably at least once a year <laughs> which is like my guilty pleasure however i'm not going to be ashamed of it and i'm not gonna apologize i love teen dramas okay get off my back don't at me currently my favorite netflix show that i'm watching is you i'm sure probably like everyone's watched it by now and everyone's finished with it um i'm trying to go slow because there's only one season and there's like 10-ish episodes i think so I'm trying to like prolong that because I really love it. If you haven't seen it, I'll tell you a little about it. 
I think if you like true crime and stuff like that, you would like this. So it's about a guy who is stalking this girl. And the twist is it's from his point of view and not her point of view. So there have been times where I almost feel sympathetic toward the character, even though like I know he's a bad guy and what he's doing is wrong and it's not right. But because it's from his point of view, it's like sometimes you can't help but like feel sympathetic and it's just so fascinating. Show us your songs tab on Spotify. This might be more embarrassing than me re-watching Gossip Girl every year, but here you go. It's scrolling on the screen. I don't know. I don't know, man. There you go. That's the music that I listen to. Here's a couple of questions that I mushed together because they sort of go together for me. What is the craziest thing you've ever done? The craziest thing I've ever done is probably move away from home. And I know for a lot of people that's like not crazy. It's kind of just like a normal thing. But before I left home, I planned on not leaving immediately. I was going to go to school and live at home and like maybe work a part-time job and that was it. I had a whole plan. I was gonna go to community college, stay home, and then go to a law school. And that was what I was gonna do. And instead I moved away when I wasn't planning to and I was so scared. And at that time, that was the craziest thing I've ever done. And the follow-up to that was, have you ever moved from home? Where to and how was the experience? So the first place I moved when I left home was Tennessee. It was kind of an interesting situation. His mom and sister let me live with them. And it was, that's like a whole other story for another time. I had kind of a rough time in Tennessee. I guess to kind of elaborate on my experience first moving away from home, it was difficult, but freeing in a way. Moving away from home is when I actually found out that I want to travel. I've always kind of wanted to like go places, but I never realized that like deep in my soul, I'm a nomad. And I think that sometimes we have to do crazy things like that because maybe there's a part of you that you didn't know existed. Like maybe you found out that you just never want to settle down and you want to move all over the world and you wouldn't have known that if you didn't leave, you know? What is your favorite genre of film and why? So I like sad, gritty stories. <laughs> and probably one of my favorite film genres is like indie films, but specifically indie films that are about drug use. Uh, for example, like Requiem for a Dream or Candy. I really like the gritty real nature of those types of movies. And if I'm not watching some sort of like indie movie, I really like horror movies, like scary, whether it's like, like slasher or like paranormal. Probably my favorite horror is like paranormal horror because you know me, I love my ghosties. I don't know. And then I also really like these sort of like artsy, fantastical films like like Moulin Rouge or Across the Universe that have this sort of like larger than life kind of vibe to them or like The Great Gatsby. So those are probably like my three top favorites types of films, I guess. What was your dream job as a kid? So this is kind of fun because it leads into me wanting to be a lawyer for a hot minute. So as a child, I really, really wanted to be an artist of some type whether it was just generally being an artist or some sort of an animator, like that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to create art and that be my job. And then at some point I had got it into my head that I couldn't be an artist and that, that wasn't possible. And I thought to myself, what's a lucrative career? Oh, I know, law. So, <laughs> so for a really long time, I planned on being, a, like a really long time I planned on being a lawyer. Like early middle school to like late high school. 
Also, I'm gonna consider like being a teenager as a kid. I think I'm old enough to consider that a child. A representative from the Art Institute came from Portland to give us like the lowdown on all of the programs that they offer there. And I remember the moment he said fashion design and it hit me like a freight train. Some divine power was like speaking to me in that moment and it was like, I can't be a lawyer. I have to be a fashion designer. And then all of that, you know, led to where I am now. How many countries have you traveled to? So I'm gonna count Japan because that wasn't like a forever home for me. It wasn't like I'm moving here to live here forever. So I've been to four different countries. I've been to Mexico, Honduras, and Belize, as well as Japan. And I plan on going to many, many more who is your celebrity crush? Okay, here's the deal. I'm gonna let you in on a secret. I don't really care about celebrities. Um, and not that like I don't care that they're like alive. Like I don't have, I think that intimate connection that a lot of people feel they have with celebrities, but I can tell you that I have, I guess it's like not really a celebrity crush as much as it is like a fictional character crush maybe. So if you've seen the show Vikings, I have a little bit of a crush on the character Rolo. What is his name? Like Clive Standen or something as Rolo? Ooh, mama, I'm gonna tell you what. What are your pet peeves? <laughs> I hate whistling. Like when people like whistle a tune, I hate it. I don't like it. It like grinds my gears. I also really hate when people say, a person was hung rather than a person was hanged. I hate it when when I say like, do you mind? And then they say yes, but they don't mind. Or like when people have like, they're in public, like at the store and they're like on speakerphone, like walking around a store on speakerphone, just like talking and it's like so loud and I'm like I don't need to know your conversation like why can you not just not <laughs> enough of that what do you do in your free time recently and not in a bad way but my free time has been lacking usually if I have like an open period of time I try to squeeze in some sort of a recording um or I'm working on like Etsy in some way. I actually had an idea for like a second Etsy store that I wanted to open up that was like completely different like than my fashion design stuff. So I've been working on like the branding for that, working on different things. Like I'll be looking up like pack different packaging solutions for my Etsy, different ideas for YouTube, whether it's coffee date vlog ideas or like fashion video ideas and that's pretty much it. But if I have like actual like downtime, like I've just like carved out a time where it's like just for me. Usually I do something that's a little more, if I'm like not watching like Netflix or like a movie or something or like hanging out with my dogs, I like to take like an herbal bath. Like it's like a whole like ordeal. Or like sometimes I'll read one of my books. Um, I have like, like the green witch back here. Like sometimes I'll just, or like my book about like crystal balls or like whatever. Um, I also like to read tarot. That's something I'm like practicing. So like I'm not a professional, um, but kind of like those things, like that's what I do in my free time. If I have free time, usually I'm doing something work related, which isn't a bad thing and I'm not complaining. Um, it's a good busy. What's your favorite color? Surprisingly, I actually enjoy a lot of different colors. <laughs> I really like the color blue. That's probably like my top favorite. I've really been into the color purple lately. Sometimes I have like a green moment. Sometimes I feel like red. It just depends, you know? I actually really love colors, like all the colors. Have you been to any concerts or festivals? Which were the most memorable? 
So as a kid, I think I went to Britney Spears concert, an American Idol concert, like the first season that they did. I think I went to one of those. I went to a concert featuring Justin Timberlake and Christina Aguilera, the Black Pea, the Black Peas, what the fuck? The Black Eyed Peas opened for that, I think. Ooh, I've been to Leonard Skinner. That was actually a really good concert. I've been to Warp Tour twice. Ooh, Warp, the first Warp Tour I went to was really good. I crowd surfed for the first time. That was fucking sweet as shit. Then I've been to Portugal the Man. Um, I believe they played with Group Love and Starfucker opened for them. And then I think it was the last concert I went to was Guar. And I don't know if anyone opened for them and I don't know if I gave a shit to be honest. But that was fucking wild. That was probably the best time I've ever had at a concert. Like fucking ever it was so good like oh my god okay so tiny story time i fucking weaseled my way up to the front and i was right in front of beefcake and we like fucking made eye contact and i was like fuck yeah and he, they were singing sick of you and it was like he was sick of me and I was sick of him and we were just like so sick and it was just like so good and on multiple occasions like he had a bunch of guitar picks and he was trying to like throw me a guitar pick and it was like every time like there must have been like a draft or something like right there because it would like swoop away or like somebody else would like fucking grab it <sighs> I'm sad I didn't get a guitar pick, but I have my memories. And wow, that was so much fun. It was like wild. By the end of it, we were covered in fake blood and it was like so good. <sighs> okay, last question. Take the last few little drinks of my tea. What are you happiest with in your life? The thing I'm most happy about in my life right now, other than obviously like you know, my husband and like my dogs and like my little family. But I have gotten, I'm not perfect at it, but I've gotten so much better at focusing on stuff that I need to do for me. And right now that's my Etsy and I've gotten not great at it, but I've gotten better like posting on my Etsy's, um, Instagram and like making new products for that and focusing time on as you guys have seen my like collection design even though that's gonna be kind of like a slow series and a slow process um, that's something I'm really proud of is like focusing on my art and my design and really making sure that that's something I'm focusing on and like working toward because the last thing I want is to like be old and on my deathbed and just be sad that I just worked at a mediocre job for my whole life and wasn't even happy about it. Like I would much rather be doing art and being a serving artist, but like being happy because I'm doing art. Anyway, that is my little get to know me video. I will leave again the empty, like clean questions that I answered in the description of this video if you guys would like to answer any or if you guys have any questions about anything else you can leave them in the comment section below i will do my best to get back to you guys immediately if i don't don't worry eventually i'll, I'll get back to you um but i would love to know about you guys as well i don't want this to be a one-sided relationship and i also really love the interaction that's probably like my favorite part about making videos but anyways Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I super appreciate it. I hope you guys feel like you want to answer some of the questions so we can get to know each other. Um, again, thanks for hanging out. You know I love it. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.